Hi, my name is Becca and welcome to my YouTube channel. Basically the whole point of this is for me to be able to document my internship that I am doing in Nunavut. So my internship is part of my education at Humber College in their Recreation and Leisure Services program. So the point of this is for me to, um, to be able to really document what I've been doing um, and to keep it, you know, for me for in the future, but also to show my friends and family uh, what I'm doing, what I've done. Uh, kind of just what I'm doing here is doing a little bit of a get to know me. I'm sure um, most of you know who I am already, but I figured it would be nice for the people who don't know me to uh, just, you know, know some basic bare minimum things and then we'll go from there. So uh, let's start with siblings and family. So I'm the oldest of four kids. I have two sisters and a brother. We were all homeschooled at one point, and um, so I think we're closer than the average siblings just because we spent so much time together. Uh, my favorite sport is going to be soccer. It's really hard for me to, to narrow it down between soccer and rugby, but between the two of them, uh, just because I played soccer the longest, it's going to have to be soccer. My favorite thing to do outside of sports is play music and listen to uh, Broadway musical soundtracks. I have a whole playlist that I frequently listen to in the car of stuff from Little Shop of Horrors, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Sound of Music, um, Taj Calls Straight Out of Oz, Wicked, Wicked is also on there also. Grease, Footloose, West Side Story, Chicago, also Rent. I forgot Rent. I love Rent. I think that's all I have on there so far. Anyway, it's so it's just a playlist of a bunch of musicals that I really enjoy the music to. And so, um, most of these shows I haven't seen. This is kind of just prepping me for the day that I get to go and see a live show so I can do all the music. My family has one pet, a cat. His name is Piper. He's pretty cool. He acts more like a dog than he acts like a cat, which is totally fine. Um, watch, like he'll play fetch with him. And he's an indoor outdoor cat, so he kills birds and bull and mice on occasion. So when our cat has killed creatures. Uh, my dream job as a kid was probably to do some stuff with like production and events. Um, the nice thing about going into recreation is I can still do production and events in kind of a different way if I choose to to do that because recreation is not just like sports but it's also a lot of stuff like arts and cultural events and festivals so it's really cool that I can go into that. So I'm sure you're wondering why the heck am, am I going to Nunavut? You know it's cold but I really wanted to be able to work with Aboriginal and, and Indigenous peoples and I figured you know, if I can do that while I'm technically still in college and get that kind of experience there, it's going to really show me whether I can work with those people groups and if I like it and if I'm good at it. So when the opportunity kind of presented itself, I was, I was really excited to get the chance to apply for the internship and I got it, which is super cool, and I'm going to be doing over the summer, which is great because I had an extra day off last semester, which was super helpful um, for studying and working on projects and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think that it's important to be able to provide recreation for people groups that don't have the same resources that we do or that have been treated unfairly uh, in the past which can be said for a lot of people groups. So some of my uh, goals kind of to to do this summer, like outside of work for fun, is to go swimming in Hudson's Bay. So the town I'm gonna be in is right on the coast. So apparently the ice comes off mid-July and I'm hoping to get a chance to swim briefly in the water there. I will also probably be trying um, some different types of food, which would be super exciting. I think that'll be a good time. I'm game for whatever. It's 
it's you know kind of part of the experience that I'm super excited about. Anyway, so that was some basic stuff to know about my trip that I'm taking and a couple things about me that uh, if you didn't know them already. And if you'd like to keep up with my travels and adventures when I go to Nineveh and the flights and the uh, the sports and the stuff that I'm going to be teaching and doing, then feel free to subscribe and follow me on my social media on Twitter and Instagram and you can just keep up with me that way. So I hope to see some of you guys soon. Later.